Good afternoon, friends. So we are back with another soup recipe, and this is one that we keep on rotation throughout the entire year. We change it up with different seasonings. We can go for Mexican or uh, Italian flavors or even Cajun. Uh, we use different seasonings in this, but today we are going to be using an Italian seasoning in this. And we always stick with a tomato base. It's usually crushed tomatoes, and we almost always have carrots and onion in this. Now, we vary the vegetables. It can be squash of any kind. Um, we have zucchini today, and we vary the meats in it. Today, we have a ground sausage that is spicy, and that will go well with the Italian flavors. And we always add just a little bit of chicken broth powder to this, or fresh chicken broth if we have it. And we're adding in some lentils today. These are the red lentils. They cook up to be really, really soft. And um, that's going to add a little bit of extra protein as well as fiber. And you can change this part out to anything that you want. Even add pasta if you'd rather have that. Um, we've used chickpeas. So you can get creative with this soup. This could also be almost called your kitchen sink soup or fridge clean out soup. And it's almost always affordable. Uh, I couldn't think of too many items that you could add in here that would be super costly, but this is a, a very good budget meal if you're trying to stick to a low income or low budget type of eating. And that's basically what we do. Christmas movies till it's evening As I lay there zoning out I wonder why we rush around Return to work and all the stressful deadlines In frozen
Okay, friends. Our soup is finished. Our zucchini is nice and tender now. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. I did add just a little bit more Italian seasoning. I just used a mix. You can use any seasoning mix that you would like. But we've got some nice bread over here we've toasted. Normally I would make some homemade bread for this, but I ran into Walmart the other day to get something that I needed for laundry and I just scrolled through the clearance things and they had some bread marked down. So I was like, why not? <clears throat> So I've got that nice and toasted. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see if I can lighten it up a little. I don't know if you can see it very well, but that's what it looks like. And I usually add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I like the cheese on this soup a lot. Of course, if you have a really nice piece of Parmigiano, <laughs> shave it over the top. But this is what I have, the shaky stuff. So that's what we're, what we're going to eat. But anyways, this is what we're having for dinner. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is a very affordable, budget-friendly soup. And it's very versatile. You can season it as you wish and add all kinds of different vegetables that you may have on hand in here. Different lentils or even beans. And it will feed your family. And it's nutritious. So, I will be back again soon with another soup video. We will be doing a Thanksgiving video as well. I am actually going to cook for my family it'll be my first year to be able to finally do that my bigger sister usually does that but with my heart issues I would like to at least do it once before things get much worse I have had a little bit of a downgrade on my heart condition it's doing worse so the family has agreed to let me do that this year so I'm gonna bring you guys along I hope you enjoy that too. But anyway, I love you guys and I hope you all are doing well. I will see you again soon. Bye friends.